We are talking to Jesha, Jesha, the Indian leader of Caste and Service. Sister Shah, tell me, how do you feel in the pulse of the Indian community for this year's presidential election? Which way it is going? I think it's going in the right direction. Uh, I believe, even though like Hillary, like she is a bit losing in the initial like this uh, this phase, but I'm, I'm sure eventually she will be the winner of this presidential election, and I think she will be the nomination nom nominee for from the Democratic Party. I believe Indian community they they do feel very comfortable um, among our Indian women, uh, intellectual people. They think that she is going to bring some values to the. Um, so, uh, did you see that? Did you, uh, I mean, are you observing any kind of swing of vote from Hillary to Obama's side in the last couple of days when Obama started winning? Yeah, I do, I do watching uh, all those um, kind of polls. I do watch the blogs. So, I'm talking about the Indian community. I mean, I know that in the beginning, Indian community is more or less like was 90% for Hillary, but after that, I've seen some more change after Obama started winning these days. Some of the young, young, young crowd, um, they think Obama going to bring some changes, but more like mature people uh, who are intellectual, they know who's going to bring the values to uh, this presidency, and that's when they, they think still they're leaning towards Hillary. So you still like think you believe that it is possible to bring change, or you think that the Obama's slogan for change is just change? A yeah, change. Like uh, the change, Hillary can bring the change too. Like. And what the change I think he was talking about, I don't know, like, I, when I hear Obama, like, so number times... Tell me practically how that is possible, because see, in U.S., every election is more or less, it is a lot of business lobbies that are putting the money into this, so more or less it's kind of a managed democracy in some way or other. Whether it's a Democratic Party or Republican Party, some way or other, they have to work within the limit of public their this is a fund. So how that change is possible, and fundamental change also relate to the fact that you have to go against those kind of lobbying firms. Looking at the Obama's views, he he's showing that I want to make a change and he how is going to make the change? He's the man who raised the maximum amount of money, which means he has taken more money from the businessman. How that is possible? Tell me. That that that's that's a, that's the reason. Like the young crowd, they don't know about more about politics, and so whatever Obama say, they believe him as okay. I'm going to bring the change to you, so they believe him. But uh, the intellectual people who are mature, they know. Who is who can bring the change, and I think that's why they're going to vote with Hillary. Okay, thank you.